today we are back with a heavy rescue series. We will be upgrading the shop. Today we will be getting three tow trucks along with a semi truck and a low boy. With a very busy winter season coming up we need to be prepared. Over the last few months I have been noticing some areas of improvement. Some of our trucks have been out every day and some of them have been sitting here at the shop. We will re be replacing the ones that we don't use too often. Before we get going on the upgrades we'll take a full walkthrough of all the vehicles and how many times they go out each a week or month. Out front we have a 2017 Ford F450 equipped with full LEDs. We use this for traffic control, helping out with transporting uh, passengers from crash vehicles and uh, to respond to crashes to decide what trucks go on out. This gets used every day. Over here we have a 2011 Ford F550 light duty wrecker. We use this for light recovery work and this goes out almost every day. We have a Freightliner rollback here for uh, light pickup trucks and cars. This goes out a few times a week. Next up, we do have a Heavy Rescue Supply Vehicle. This has all the extra gear needed for those big crashes. We used this at most of, uh, I believe, three times last month. Around back, we have our Lone Star uh, Homes Wrecker. We will be selling this today in exchange for a Western Star Homes Wrecker. It's a little bit bigger, and I actually really do enjoy these old-fashioned trucks. They do the job, and they do look very nice. I believe I took this out on a few calls this month. Inside the shop, we have our most expensive fleet of trucks. Up first, we have a Twin Steer Western Star Rotator. This is a 75-ton rotator. We used this once last month. We will be trading in this today. It's just too much money to be sitting here at the shop. And I also have noticed we really only need one rotator out on the highways. And this truck is valued at over a million dollars. So that's going to be good money that we could put towards new trucks. And we are adding quite a few today. Over here we have a Western Star 50 ton uh, heavy wrecker here. This gets used 3-4 times a week. Over here we have a Western Star Rotator. This thing gets used once a week and this is a pretty profitable truck. So today we are buying two 30 ton heavy wreckers and we are buying an older truck, a semi truck and a little boy. I have noticed that some crashes we can't tow it away and we need to lift it and put it on that little boy. So up first we will be heading over there and picking up the new Mac Anthem. Here it is, our brand new Mac Anthem Sleeper. This is a 30 ton heavy wrecker and it is fully equipped here. I ordered this just around four months ago. This truck we will be using not only for heavy recovery but for long distance towing. That is why I did want the sleeper body on the cab. We'll uh, pull it out here, take a full walk through. This is awesome. Now this truck is a pretty affordable truck. Like I have touched upon, we are selling the rotator which will uh, afford for all these new changes. Big shout out goes out to Windmetal Farming on Facebook for releasing this epic tow truck pack. He has been making some updates too with new uh, trucks and this is one of them. I really do like the new Mac Anthem design and once I saw this I knew that we just had to get it. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy so far, but it's been overall pretty good. Like I have touched upon, our 50 ton heavy wrecker has been going out almost every day. And that is why I decided to get a lot more uh, heavy wreckers for the fleet. Now, all of these heavy wreckers we will be keeping in the garage. I really want to keep these newer trucks inside kept well, and also in the heated garage is always a good thing with uh, the freezing cold uh, winters. And this winter will be pretty bad. There's already reports that this will be a pretty rough winter here, so everything has to be in tip-top shape and ready to go for all the crashes. We'll get this backed in here and almost uh, collided with a vehicle. Some of the traffic on this road really do not want to slow down. Now we do have to move this uh, 50 ton Western Star over just a little bit. And uh, let's kind of see, we might have to move this a little bit further out. 
so far I really haven't have been enjoying the Heavy Rescue series. We have been responding to some pretty cool calls on this map. Now I do plan to, to switch up maps and things like that, but a lot more calls related to the snow season will be coming up as well. Since winter is here, there will be some pretty big crashes. Awesome, so we got this in here, and I think up next, why don't we go pick up that new uh, Holmes Wrecker for us. Now, I really would have liked to keep the Lodestar uh, Holmes Wrecker, but we just have too many trucks, and this, it, we could just let go. And like I have touched upon, I really do like these older trucks. Not only do we use them, we do take it to uh, tow truck shows, different things like that. And I think it's just a cool vehicle to be driving around the town. If you do have any cool ideas here for the Heavy Rescue series, please let me know. We've been responding to quite a calls lately. I've been doing just around one of these a week, and I definitely have plans to do a lot more. Now, if anyone knows of any maps with highways, let me know. I definitely want to feature more and more maps, and uh, I definitely want maps with highways. But there it is, guys, our brand new Holmes Wrecker. This is one pretty cool truck. Look at that. And it's a little bit bigger, but it is the old-fashioned body on the back. A little bit bigger, which will be perfect for recovery. Now, this one, I really want it to be used almost every day throughout the winter season. But here it is, the Western Star. We do have a full old-fashioned light bar up top. I mean, this thing is legit. I would like to thank all of you guys for the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby, great passion of mine, and I really do appreciate it. Now, this truck I would definitely like to put inside, but I just don't think we do have enough room. And I actually want this out front because this sometimes is a showstopper. It just looks so cool. It could draw more attention to the shop. Well, like I have touched upon, the next vehicle we are selling is that 75-ton rotator. I just haven't found a need for it. It's just so much money, and we don't use it since we do have two rotators, and I much prefer the smaller one anyway. So we'll get this parked over here, and that looks awesome out front. Look at that. Let's head around back, get the door opened up, and uh, do that. But I definitely want to move a few of these. We do need more room here, so we'll kind of tuck this around back. Yeah, we'll just put this here for now, and when we do need it, it should be ready to go, and we can have it plugged in as well to help starting up a little bit better. But let's hop here in HR 250. It might take a try or two to get actually on the inside, but here we go. Now this truck here, we did have a cool livery done, and I did put some logos on it, but not too much since I kind of knew we weren't going to keep this for too long. I believe we use this on one or two calls throughout the entire season. Yeah, in my opinion, it's too much money to own and to run, uh, and I don't want it to get damaged. So we actually uh, recovered a wreck. It was a Peterbilt 389. I sent it over to a shop, and they refurbished the entire air uh, truck and actually put a whole new wrecker body on it. So we are buying that today, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Sometimes these cool trucks that don't make enough money just have to be let go. We need trucks that are much more profitable for the company and that are used every day.
and we have arrived here at the factory this will be pretty cool to see the truck and there it is guys a 30 ton Peterbilt sleeper uh, semi I really do like it a lot some custom features were done to it but this thing looks sweet just look at that and uh, like I've touched upon uh, selling that 75 ton rotator will actually put some money back in our pockets uh, uh, and we actually get two trucks out of it which is awesome so let's hop here on the inside we'll do a full strobes on it really do like this truck this probably will be one of my uh, drivers that will drive because I, I really like it quite a lot I really do like how in Farming Simulator there's so many cool mods that you could pretty much uh, do whatever you would like here in the game. That's what I like and this Heavy Rescue series is a great example with uh, tow truck mods. You could do a great role play series of tow truck recovery work. Now I really do like how the turn signals and brake lights do show up there in the light bar up top. That does look awesome and this does have a full Peterboat interior. Now we are one of the only heavy uh, rescue uh, shops in the area within 30-40 miles so we cover a big uh, area of the town and the surrounding towns and the interstates and that's why we need such a big fleet. Now I definitely want to do some multiplayer videos, I think those would be pretty cool, having you guys come in game and help out uh, as tow truck operators or even uh, as emergency services uh, blocking the road, fire departments, and we probably do need a few fire trucks in the game. And we'll get this backed in. Perfect, this fits pretty well. We'll try to get centered up here on the door, and I, I do like this how it's it is on the side area here we could potentially move the rotator back here but I, I like this uh, kind of tucked away back here so that's pretty much it there the last thing we will be getting is a semi truck and a low boy now we are not buying a brand new semi truck we are buying an old Ford 9000 series we'll head over there with the F450 After responding to quite a lot of calls, I have noticed a few things. We did need a semi truck to tow away some trailers and we also needed a flatbed trailer to tow away uh, some of the parts of the loader and even sometimes the trucks that got completely destroyed in the wreck. So that is why I have decided to pull the trigger on a, a semi truck and a low boy. We do need someone that knows how to run it and things like that and uh, it is an extra cost but it's well worth it instead of having to uh, pay a company to come out there and uh, transport it back to the shop. Now we will actually be putting this F450 on the low boy and bringing it back over to the shop. I thought that was a great way uh, to buy it. Now we do need to get this truck equipped with full strobe lights. That's the only thing. But here it is. That truck looks awesome. Perfect. There it is. And I did want a red low boy. Now they are both used and that's okay. Now we do have a full toolbox here on the back. That's the only custom thing that I did have the dealership add here for. It's four extra chains and straps and uh, we should be good to get this backed on. We'll get this backed on here. Should fit no problem. Yeah, so that's perfect. And sometimes we might even have to put a damage, uh, maybe reefer trailer, cargo trailer on this. And that's uh, something we'll, we'll just have to make work at the time. But here it is, this old Ford, this thing is sweet. Now this thing will be always attached here to little boy and also ready to be detached if needed uh, just in case. But it looks like we really don't like the uh, train tracks and the height there. Let's kind of see what we can do, and uh, that little trick worked. Now I did want the drop axle just in case if we had a heavy trailer that needed to be moved. We didn't have to tie up a wrecker for it, we could just use this. All of these changes for the series means that our videos will be more advanced. I want to be as realistic and have as much fun with this series as we can.
this will be an awesome truck here hopefully we get to use this a lot if not we'll probably have to part ways with it Now it would be pretty cool if we could turn around in here. Let's see if we can. If not, uh, that is something we'll just have to kind of back in. No problem. It's just going to have to take a little bit of extra time. Making a pretty sharp turn, but it looks like we can pretty much pull it off here. Wow, that is great. And this will always kind of put out front here ready to go. And that is pretty much it here for today's video. It was a busy day here as we made these improvements to the shop. Let me know down below what are your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.